Hi friends. I am once again filming a stupid little video um, for my book channel. So this is just going to be a little mix of what I do in a week. And actually we're doing something really weird. I don't know how much I'm gonna film, but Kurt and I are gonna go swimming. I walked by the swimming pool that's kind of by where I do my daily walk and it was like relatively empty, seemed like a chill place, it's only five bucks. So um, we are going to grab lunch and swim, how strange. It's like lovely overcast weather, which is perfect for me. So I'm still gonna lather up with the sunscreen though. So I'm going to get ready and I will see you at the pool once I put my room back together. I have to like move my bed every time I film. Um, see you, welcome to the vlog, I'm so happy you're here. Hope you're doing well. everyone from Shinyongsan. Uh, I just went to the Amore Pacific Museum. You technically weren't supposed to really take videos. Really interesting. The way that they curate um, all of their exhibitions are really good and they're like one of the most constantly changing museums. I feel like I get into a rut where I've seen every exhibit that is in Seoul, <laughs> but they're pretty good at changing consistently. I might look a little rough. I am so tired. I think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> um, swimming took me out. So also cicadas are here finally. It's taking them a while to come out. Um, I'll have a seat. Swimming was super fun. You do need a swimming cap and if you get them there they are ten dollars each. So definitely try and get yourself a cheap swimming cap. It didn't seem like they actually cared about the quality. So just get yourself a swimming cap um, before you can go in. There are three pools. One is for like teeny babies that came up like just a couple inches. Um, the one that I swam in ranged from like, I think it was like three feet to maybe six feet. Anyway, it was fun. It was chill. The weather was perfect. But yeah, I haven't swam in a while. So I feel like it took a lot out of me. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to head to a place that apparently has good yogurt. Um, and a lot of you guys recommended it to me, so thank you. It was already on my list, but to have humans tell me it was good, I'm like, thank you so much. So anyway, I'm gonna focus on finding it. And, um, oh, I can take this off. And then I have more filming to do for a filming crew um, for Korea tourism. So we have to go to Hongdae. See you there. <laughs> My only hope 
I look for the things I don't know. They're playing the soundtrack to Kimi no Nawa and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest I'm going to the bookstore without Oh my god, hold on, let me get on the escalator I'm going to the bookstore without a chaperone Nobody to hold me back God, they rearranged since I was here and I thought they got rid of all of the English books and I was gonna have a panic attack, but we're good. So. <laughs> Hello, I'm home. I finished filming and it went well. But I read something interesting. I had, I forget where I came across this. It was in a video essay that I saw on YouTube. I don't know who it was. I watch a bunch of them. So as I was reading the first part of this book, I realized that I had come across this idea before, but I just want to share it with you. So it was talking about photography in terms of traveling and experiencing things. And there are a couple interesting ideas. Number one is that photography makes real what one is experiencing. Pixar didn't happen, right? But also it limits the experience to a search for the photogenic. So people now kind of because of photography, a lot of times people search to go to places that are photogenic and the less photogenic places, why would you bother going there if you can't take a picture, right? But then I, I thought this part was actually really interesting and it's something that I think about a lot as a vlogger, which is the very activity of taking pictures is soothing. It gets rid of the general feelings of disorientation that are likely to be exacerbated by travel. Most tourists feel compelled to put the camera between themselves and whatever is remarkable that they encounter. Unsure of other responses, they take a picture. And it kind of like gives you something to do. Like when you're at a museum, for me, like to this morning, okay, I went to the museum. I'm not like an art critic. I don't know how long you should stand and stare at a picture at a museum kind of thing. And so a lot of times if I'm in a situation where I don't know how to interact with it, I will just take a photo and that's like me recording it is me experiencing it. Does that make sense? How do I explain this? I don't know. I guess you can think of it as like if you see a bunch of people spontaneously dancing in the street and you think, oh, that's so cool, but you don't want to join the dancing. One way you can participate is by recording it. Does that make sense? I kind of think about that when I, especially when I'm doing solo travel is like, a lot of times solo traveling is awkward and the way that I make it not awkward is by recording it. And so I feel like I'm not alone because I know that I'm going to be sharing this later. Vlogging is an easy way to interact with the world around me. I'm not explaining it really well, but I just thought that that was a really interesting idea. There's a bunch of really interesting ideas and I'm only on page 22. I love these books. I have, what is it? Ways of seeing. Anyway, I was just reading that and I was thinking, how can I make a video? about that 
And then I realized I can't make a video about it because that would be filming. There's no way to record not recording a trip and seeing how it's different from recording a trip. So pinning that idea for another time when I figure out how to do it. But anyway, yeah, I'm also reading Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung. Weird as hell. I mean, people told me that these stories were weird, but like... <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna see you, I think, tomorrow. Oh, I have to charge my phone if I want to go for my walk. I will see you later. Sun came out. Yes, I'm heading down. I can't see you. I'm heading to get dinner with a friend. This is the first time I'm leaving my house today, other than when I got coffee. I had so much fun today. Like, I love days when I am actively filming and editing and like being creative and stuff especially when I'm talking about like really fun things so it's been a good day my Korean class was a little difficult because actually we've hit a point where I think I like have kind of reached my limit where I've used up all the Korean that I know and so now I have to struggle and so our like conversations and banter in class are actually quite difficult for me because we're reaching topics that I don't know how to express very well and I just don't I have a limited vocabulary so I'm really pleased like I'm frustrated but it's a good thing like it's pushing me to grow you can't grow without a little bit of difficulty so anyway I can literally see her outside of my house so I'm gonna go but I will catch you guys later <laughs> Hello, so tomorrow um, I'm going to be doing my book meetup sale exchange etc. I went to Daiso as you guys saw and got post-its to help people write down their prices if they need and then some paper and this box where I'm going to ask people if they want to to submit their favorite books or book recommendations and then I'm gonna come home and type up all the answers I'm actually really excited I'm giving away some like really good books most of these are gonna be free because these books I get for free with a partnership I do with my book channel so all these hardcovers are free but I've got, I recently read this. This was amazing, but heartbreaking. I've got some magazines. I've got some trashy romances. Oh, I have Almond. I have my Kim Ji Young born in 1982. I've got a Haruki Murakami in there, but I'm excited. I don't know, a lot of people RSVP'd. I'm quite nervous actually, because I rented a cafe. <laughs> the owner says like, it should be 40 people inside at a time but a lot of people rsvp'd it's gonna rain a lot tomorrow so maybe some people like won't show up i'm hoping that everybody just kind of staggers their arrival times so that we don't get in trouble i think it'll be okay um but we've got quite a few people selling books which is exciting um and then just a pe people who are coming to either buy books or hang out so yeah i'm very excited uh it's tomorrow from 11 to 4 so i'll bring you along when i first started packing this bag i was able to pick it up but now i'm not sure oh yeah yeah this will be fine so yeah that's what's going on today i was just doing work i actually answered emails like it isn't fun for you guys to watch but i'm happy like i'm i'm at this rate of productivity that i really enjoy so it's a good time so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow i don't think i'm doing anything interesting tonight i was gonna go for a walk but it 
is going to start pouring. I will catch up with you when I see you next, okay? Bye. We made it. I'm going to try and set up some stuff. Kurt is here figuring out everything. We're getting the air conditioner going. It's actually bigger than I thought, which is good. There's an outdoor space as well. So, um, let's do it. <laughs> My goodness okay that was such a success um i've lost my voice so i'll talk about it later but that was so wonderful thank you everybody for coming i'm like high on life I was thinking of chatting here because I did a reading video here in October and it was gorgeous but here in summer the bugs are so noisy um, and they like come in waves <laughs> hold on mainly I just wanted to catch up about the whole um, book sale and everything oh no I'm sorry thank you to everyone who came it was so incredibly lovely and I like extra extra appreciate honestly everybody did this but like I tried to get to everyone as they came in the door to like say hi and like you know it, a lot of people came by themselves and I know I get nervous so I thought I could like help people meet other people but everybody there was so friendly that like the second a new person came in they would just like pounce on them and be like be my friend um it was really like such a wholesome experience just like seeing so much warmth and kindness I guess in the room it was really great and I know I I kind of like talk to everybody about this but the whole fact that people like us are introverts and everything um we're hard to find we're hard to like 
find other people like us because we're always inside reading or we're quiet or whatever. And so this was just such a really cool event because we found each other. And I know everybody was saying like, we're gonna go home and crash and like not talk to anybody for two days because of like all of our introversion. But yeah, it was just really wonderful. And so thank you guys so much. That's like something that I'm focusing on a lot recently is just the fact that I've realized how how the pandemic has affected how often I see people and see my friends like this has been going on for so long that now it seems normal to me to like not see any friends for like upwards to two months um and that wasn't normal um so now I'm working on just like trying to meet up with people and like just call my friends I'm the worst person I always think everybody's too busy so I like am never the one to be like hey let's meet up so um yeah this past week like I haven't really been filming because I have been seeing my friends we have been meeting up and then we did this book meet up and I was like talking to humans again and I just like it was just so absolutely lovely and so um thank you guys for being a part of that helping me come back out of my shell and everything um I will try and host another one. I did get messages from people being like, can you do it in August? Can you do this in September? I'm only gonna be here for like a day in October. Can you do it that day? Like I knew there was always going to be a person who couldn't come. So I'm I'm glad that so many people could be bugs, man. I'm glad that so many people could come, but we will try and do this again uh, just because it was so nice. So yeah, I am, I'm, I just brought a book out to read. I was working all this morning. And then I thought like, oh, the sky is finally blue. I should go outside, not thinking that it's also incredibly hot. And I think I made it worse because I've been in air conditioning for like 48 hours, <laughs> not having been outside. So um, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for physically being there or watching this video. And tomorrow actually, um, this was kind of a test run to figure out how hot it is <laughs> because tomorrow I'm going to be going on um, a little adventure outside, taking you there. Um, hopefully we don't get lost in the woods, but the chances of that happening are high. So um, I'll see you guys then. And um, I might be taking a break from filming just because I am hitting that zone of like, because I have so much other work to do, I feel like I'm not filming anything interesting. And because I feel like I'm not filming anything interesting, I'm getting, like, feeling just frustrated in my work. So I'm going to take a break so that I can, like, relax and find new content for you guys. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. This is nuts. Oh, I booked some tickets home. Um, so I will be back in America in October. So you'll get some America vlogs as well. Maybe get some My Chemical Romance content. Um, but yeah, okay, I will see you guys then there's a fly. Okay, <laughs> see you guys then. Bye. Bye.